Jeopardy! It's the ultimate Jeopardy square off. The top money winner in Jeopardy history, Brad Rutter. And the record holder for consecutive matches won, Ken Jennings, taking on an IBM computer named Watson. Watson? What is Sauron? Sauron is right. Named for IBM's founder, Watson is a mega mind of 10 refrigerator sized computer racks running at a speed of 80 trillion operations a second. But this is far beyond Google. Watson understands language the way we speak it. The difference between bat and bat, for instance. It analyzes the equivalent of a million books and whittles down hundreds of likely answers to the best one. Understanding human language, being able to get into the nuance or the implicit nature of it, the ambiguity, is actually a very, very hard problem. The scientists here have filled Watson with so much information, it would take the typical human being 250,000 years to learn as much. But as the competition has proven so far, that makes Watson smart, not perfect. Ken. What are the 20s? No. Watson. What is 1920s? No, Ken said that. Brad. After the first of three nights, Watson was tied for the lead with Rudder and far ahead of Ken Jennings. I sort of felt like I wanted to win as badly here as I ever have before at anything. This is like the dignity of the species. But fear not, say the inventors. Machines won't make us obsolete. The kind of response that a human has to music or to art, to a computer, it's frequencies and amplitudes. It can learn to analyze it but it can't feel. Meaning Watson may rival the human brain, but never the human heart. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Yorktown Heights, New York.